Yeah. So. Recently. Did a director marathon. Took a suggestion. Really. Should not have taken that suggestion. Never. Never do I listen again. That's no. So it's always my fault. I make one little mistake. One little direct mistake. I say, let's watch M. Night Shyamalan. Let's watch him. He'll be good. He'll be interesting. He'll be entertaining. He did the sixth sense. One mistake, and I can't be forgiven for one mistake. Well, poof. I don't have any smoke. I just have to disappear with the whole poof thing. It takes time. We watch Devil. I'm so sorry. Piff. So, yeah, M. Night Shyamalan. I uh, don't even know if I got that right. I uh, used to care. I uh, don't. <clears throat> don't anymore. <laughs> Here's a guy that started out uh, seemingly with a lot of promise with the movie The Sixth Sense. Hey, wait a second, before I go any further, we're going to be talking about one movie in particular. But let's get his uh, his filmography up here. I really should have done this before, but uh, I even spelled this guy's name. Okay, thankfully you just put in a couple words. Maybe I could have put in I don't know. Director worst writer director that makes worst films in Uwe Boll, who at least can be semi entertaining at times. So, let's see what he directed. <clears throat> Prang Banger, I don't know what that is. Wide awake. Okay, this is all before. Blah, blah, blah. The Sixth Sense. And I, I enjoyed The Sixth Sense. I thought that was decent. Unbreakable. Still. I'm still there. I still, I'm there for Unbreakable. Very different take on the superhero line. Signs. Sorry, uh, okay, aliens decide to invade a planet, and they can go anywhere, but uh, they choose a planet that's over 70% filled with stuff that's toxic to them. That's like say, hey, we're building Earth 2, let's go to that planet with no Freaking air. No. Signs made no sense. It was stupid. It was dumb. I can't believe he got those actors in that film. I can't believe he tricked people. Then again, he was on a wave. Like, yeah, maybe. It was a horrible, horrible, horrible movie. But right, it can be better, right? The Village. The worst episode. The worst episode of the twi of the nineteen eighties, Twilight Zone. Is it as tepid and boring and predictable as the movie The Village? I no, no, just no. You, signs should have been a sign right there. Sign ha, perfect that this next movie was going to suck. But maybe okay. Everybody makes a bad movie, right? Everybody makes one bad movie. Uh, all right. Next. Lady in the Water. It just doesn't fit the rest of them. It's actually a film that my better half likes a lot, so we're going to nudge that one out. Yeah. We'll do that. And there's the happening. Nothing. Nothing. Happened. Nothing happened. 
nothing. And of course, there was the last airbender. Thanks for raping a cartoon that I love. I really appreciated the way you homogenized and completely missed the entire point of that cartoon series. Thank you so much for that. Please, would you like to ask, ask rape Robocop while you're at it? Or not Robocop, Robotech. Yes, because I loved Robotech. Robotech was a great thing. Why, why doesn't he take that one? Okay, he's not taking that one. Good. And uh, After Earth. The only thing that looks more boring than After Earth, and I'm probably going to get crap for this, but I'm sorry. <clears throat> right now, there's a movie coming out called Ender's Game. Game. I don't care what it's called. Oh, you know what it is. You see Harrison Ford, and uh, you see a, a kid, and he's, yeah, game over. See, for me, for me, hold on. This is about as exciting as this. Yeah, do you want to watch me do that for two hours? I don't think so. But what makes pisses me off, what pisses me off, what pisses me off is I watched a movie that he produced that he had a bit to do with. I'm not sure exactly what his creative thing in this movie was. I know he produced it. It was the start of his big uh, line of movies that he was going to produce. Oh, he wrote it. Freaking wrote it. He worked on it. Him and Brian Nelson... Who's Brian Nelson? Let's find out who Brian Nelson is. Brian Nelson wrote Dirty Days of Night and Hard Candy and The and Devil. Alright, Devil has been one of the stupidest movies I've ever seen in my entire life. comes into one scene. One scene, one scene, one scene. The toast scene. The toast scene. Do you know how to find out if there's a devil nearby? Okay. Go make some toast. Go ahead. Uh, I'll wait. Done? Okay. Uh, put jam on that toast. Okay, now if you throw that toast up in the air and it falls down jam side on the floor, you have a mess. Oh, and, and Satan's nearby. Yeah, the devil's nearby. Uh, jam toast falling down. You would not believe how many times the devil has been in my life over the years that I didn't even realize it when I was having toast in the morning. Get a little klutzy. All that time. All those dropped pieces of toast on the floor that I cleaned up for my kids and stuff over the years. What was it? Satan. It was Satan. You're probably wondering why I'm not doing like an actual review of these films. Uh, this was painful enough. Don't get your movie ideas from Mr. Green. Just saying. <sighs> Now I guess I have to go and watch something actually good to cleanse my soul from a uh, devil. Happy Halloween, guys. It's time for a candy corn, actually. It's time for tea.